Today we're going to be testing our brand new Cheap Shot 130 crossbow. The first time Cold Steel's ever made a crossbow. And we're also going to be testing two new broadheads, our buzz saw and our wrecking ball. Let's see how they do against this ballistic gel target. I'm pretty darn happy with the results of these uh, two shots here. Um, obviously, the two blade stinger went further, but my buzz saw went all the way through one inch leather and it's sticking out eight inches the other side. When you consider the price difference, this is phenomenal performance. This little doe just came in here about five minutes ago. We are waiting for her to turn around to give me a shot. She finally turned broadside and I hammered her with my cheap shot 130 crossbow. Well, I like venison. I couldn't be happier to take this nice doe with my cheap shot 130. I haven't killed very many javelina. I'm really happy to get this one. Oh man. It weighs at least 50 pounds minimum.
just getting in at the blind now. We got in a little later today because the deer are moving later. And I'm gonna try out my new cheap shot buzz saw brought in. We've killed a lot of stuff with it on this trip and I wanna shoot a big fat doe for the freezer. That is a doornail. My buzz saw broke off inside of her. You can see she's bleeding like crazy. Pretty cool. Just as I got ready to shoot this doe, she was quartering away and I hit her a little far back, but my buzz saw went all the way through her. It cut this huge entrance hole. That's a one inch, it cuts a one inch wide swath all the way through the body. It really tears them up. Even if you make a, a mediocre shot, you're going to do a tremendous amount of damage. I shot this doe less than an hour ago with my cheap shot buzzsaw, and it was quartering away, and the arrow hit here, and went through, through the leg, and here it is, clear on this side here, sticking out of the back of the leg. Yeah, it broke off, the arrow uh, broke off, perfectly fine can be easily reused and the cheap shot is right there for posterity that buzz saw rips a huge one inch diameter hole you know you can get three blade broadheads and four blade broadheads but when you get this you get six blades cutting Wait till the biggest one. 
got broadside to me. I shot him, I think pretty good. Looks like it went behind the shoulder. I'm pretty happy with that shot. Our cheap shot, buzzsaw, 100 grain broadhead, broke the rib on this big pig, 200 pound pig, traversed the body, hit the other side. I had a good path in and I thought, hey, let's sneak in there and see if I can't spear this thing. So I snuck in really close and had to go. And just as I thought I was gonna throw, it took off and I had to throw on the run and I managed to hit her in the back. And I think I did a pretty good job. We'll see. Okay. You're doing a fine job, Josh. I'm glad we brought you. It's a hot, humid November 29th in South Texas. I just speared this hog, went into the bush. It was pretty sick. I finished it off with my Sambru spear and we just cut our way and dragged our way out. When you go into this hell, you wanna make sure you got a cold steel machete because you're gonna be hating life if you don't have one. Tested my new cheap shot broadhead. They call this the buzz saw. And I shot a nice coal buck. I think I hit him through the top of the heart. We'll see. All over the branches. Jeez. Look at that. Boy, that buzz saw. It really cut him up. Just devastated that heart. Ripped it to shreds. And that thing's still pointy. As can be, didn't even break the tip off. For a plastic broadhead that costs about a dollar, huh, can't beat that. I'm pretty excited. Um, Paul just shot a pretty big buck and he thinks he hit it really hard. And we're gonna take this opportunity to put our black mouth cur bloodhound crosses. They're young dogs and they don't have a lot of experience yet. So we're gonna put them on the blood trail and see if we can't find this buck that Paul shot. He used this cheap shot 130 at Cold Seals building this year. It's a close range killer. That's pretty darn good penetration with this crossbow, this cheap shot 130. Paul shot a big mature buck and the arrow passed all the way through and went another 12, 15 yards. So I'm pretty happy with that power of that bow. It is a close range killer. This is a nice mature buck. We shot it with the Cheap Shot 130. It's 130 pounds. It went right through them and went another 15 yards. It's uh, deadly accurate. Good shot.
right, we're shooting a new cold steel three blade buzzsaw, plastic broadhead. We've got nine cutting edges. I got some big gobblers coming in down on this river bottom. I'm gonna shoot this new Oneida Phoenix set at 70 pounds. Pretty accurate, pretty deadly. Got a ground blind set up here. So I'm gonna put this buzzsaw to the test. Cold steel buzzsaw. Yeah, nine big gobblers came in. I'm down here in this river bottom and there's a lot of goblin here last night. So I hunted this deer stand down here and these big gobblers came in and there was a long beard came in about 15 yards. So I put the cold steel buzzsaw to the test. And as you can see, wow, I mean, it must've hit him right in the, probably right in the breastplate, part of the backbone because it just dropped him like a rock. So he died within a matter of seconds. Cold steel buzzsaw, a definite gobbler killer. All right, here's our proof that a plastic broadhead can kill anything. Came into this river bottom this morning. The mission was to shoot a big gobbler. Here he is, 25 pounds of South Texas River Gobbler. Got him with the Cold Steel Cheap Shop Buzzsaw. Three blade plastic broadhead. A proven killer. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha